Shalom, all thanks and praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Warakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth. No matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons, and daughters as well. And the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. Okay. Um, you know, just kind of pondering on the uh, Kanye situation, Kanye West, which he likes to be called Ye now. But nevertheless, um, what I've noticed about people, what people took from Kanye West, and when I'm speaking of this, I'm reflecting on the interview he had with Drink Champs. Many people are talking about the interview he had with Drink Champs. And one thing that I found to be funny is out of all the things people talk about, nobody is mentioning how he said the so-called blacks are the real Jews. You have everybody tripping, running amok over George Floyd comments. People running amok because he said, you know, the Jews are running things and how he's jealous about that. Um, you know, he said a lot of things, but you don't really hear too many people making a fuss that he said that we are the real Jews. So if we are the real Jews and many people heard him say that if we are the real Jews, why are you still giving a pass to the so called Jewish community? Okay. And that shows you this world. It's totally opposite of the spirit. Talking to people of this world, they literally have selective hearing. They have a massive amount of selective hearing. Okay? The most important thing Kanye West even said is that the so-called blacks are the real Jews. And I ain't heard nobody make a video around that. Hell, I just watched a video of uh what's that dude's name man russell simmons brother um dang i forget that guy's name but he basically made a video justifying the jewish community saying how the jewish community has helped the black community and no one else was willing to do so but you have not yet mentioned that him saying the so-called blacks are the real jews if we are the real jews that means they are the fake Jews, and if they are the fake Jews, that makes them that makes them imposters, that makes them thieves. But the majority of Israel, they're not even talking about Kanye even saying anything about us being the real Jews. They make convo about dumb shit. Okay? And that's how you know the Lord is fed up, man. No matter how this word comes out, and it seems evident that no matter who it comes from, people run circles. They do anything in they in their power to try to avoid this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay? And to even know that we're Israelites. That's a part of this wisdom. And the fact that Kanye said that the blacks are the real Jews and no one's even making a, a damn topic around it. <laughs> How much more do you think people avoid us? How much more do you think people not listen to us? And trust me, a lot of our people know we are the biblical Israelites. Now, whether or not they accept it is a whole other source of conversation. Okay, so let's go to Hosea. 
get to these couple scriptures, man, so I can close this down. This is Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So when uh, Khan Arizye had spoke on who the real Jews were, different celebrities, YouTube celebrities, or unknown people have had things to say about Ye and his interview. You've even had people trying to put fear into the air based off of him saying what he said to the so-called Jewish community. And these same people are not dwelling or pondering on him saying who the real Jews were. That is so annoying to me. I'm not gonna lie, that gets under my skin. And in my belief, in my true belief, the real reason why they took that interview down at Drink Champs, it wasn't because of what Kanye said about P. Diddy or the, 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 the damn Jewish community or about George Floyd. Now, all of those things collectively may have helped to play a part, but I believe what really got that took down is the fact that he had, had said, you know, more than, a, more than a couple times in that interview, that the so-called blacks are the real Jews. Hell, even Floyd Mayweather spoke on this. And these are two um, wealthy so-called black men here in the Americas, okay? Some of the most wealthiest black men here in America today, and even them coming out and saying the blacks are the real Jews, no one is making it a topic, okay? So man, it's like, <laughs> It really makes you ponder and consider like, wow, man, if like people ain't really, you know, referencing what they're saying about it, you know, they're not listening to us, man. And it, and it pisses me off. It does. It, it angers me. It's irritating. But the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is blinding the majority of this world. And he used Kanye West for more reach. So when people hear it, they can be held accountable and they can be judged for it. So let's read this again in Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. And you must have thought the Lord forgot that he wrote this. Because when all hell breaks loose, when that head just took it off, the majority of people oh yeah not only are they themselves going to be in danger their children are going to be in danger their wives are going to be in danger their own lives are going to be in danger okay but when you reject the Lord when you put off from day to day serving the Lord when you put off knowledge of Yahweh Shai, regardless of who it's coming from Okay, when you downplay the scriptures, when you downplay the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Bible, you will have your day. And that day will come when you least expect it. You're going to depend on the Lord to get you out of it, and he's literally going to laugh at you through his prophets. We may even see you doing bad somewhere, and we might actually look you in the face and laugh at you because the spirit of the Lord is on us to do so. Many people are not making what should be a topic, the topic. You still have our people justifying these goddamn bastards, okay? Talking circles around who the real Jews are. Let's not, let's not talk about that part. Let's talk about whatever else, but let's leave out he actually said who the real Jews are. Come on, man. That shit is irritating to me, man irritating and then it's no wonder that somebody likes me that that someone who is like me does not get a lot of views and then you see how frustrating it really gets man it gets frustrating talking to you 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 goddamn idiots you airheads it's like you people have no brain out there okay there is no talking point or reference to start with when it comes to this world 
because these people they have their 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 head so far up their asses that it's coming right back out their own head <laughs> anyway um let's go to proverbs 9 i'm gonna close it here man proverbs 9 and 9 give instruction to a wise man and he will yet be wiser Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. Man, the most the most our people can learn is, you know, yeah, you can learn how to start a business. You can learn how to get involved with Bitcoin. You can learn how to scam people. You can learn how to finesse somebody's wife and have sex with her and commit adultery. Um, you can learn how to break in somebody's home late at night, even while they're still there. But you don't want to learn Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You don't want to learn who the real Jews are. You don't want to learn who the Israelites are as a whole. You don't want to learn what we have to do, seeing that we are these people. You don't care that our nationality has been taken from us. You constantly complain and you bicker and you you wonder why are we in this position. The Bible tells you all these things. You, you reject it. You act as if we didn't hear it. Um, you wonder why. Our people can't get along. You wonder why the so-called Jewish community can. Then the Bible tells you why. You don't care. You push it to the side. So our people are impossible. That's why Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to do a lot of death and destruction. Now, for the people who have made who the real Jews are a talking point based off around what Kanye West said. Okay, you have those. The majority of people that I have seen speaking on that situation speaking on that interview they were not talking about him bringing up who the real jews were they just kept saying oh the jewish oh george floyd you know that's so annoying to me man give instruction to a wise man and he will be yet wiser so if you tell our people hey the the, the so-called blacks are the real jews if they didn't know that they should take heed. They should be wiser. Okay, well, if we're the real Jews, then that means, huh, well, then we're the same as who the world will call Jesus Christ. And that was a great man. So if he was a great man and we're the same people as he is, that would have to make us great. And if we're great, we shouldn't be so, you know, um, caught up in our own misery. We should have more confidence. We should know that you know, our people, ain't. we are not. When I say we, our people as a whole, we are not thinking like that. Okay? But you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is literally about to pull the plug of this society. See, the only true power is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So when the power goes out, you people are not going to have someone to call on. You're going to be lost in darkness. Okay? But knowledge and wisdom, that's going to be the stability of our times. And knowing that you're an Israelite, knowing that you're a so-called Jew, or knowing, knowing, that, knowing that you're an Israelite, knowing that you as a so-called black man, you're a Jew, that's not all you need to know. But that does come with the knowledge. All right, so let's wrap this up. I'm going to go on ahead and give all thanks and praises unto Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Wa Rakakwadash. I'm out.